Welcome back to Infigyan once again in this very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations. Here we are going to solve one very interesting rational equation today in two ways. Equation is 1 plus x cube over 1 plus x whole cube plus x over 1 plus x whole square equal to 3. So let's get started by writing method number 1 and domain of the equation. As you can see 1 plus x is in the denominator. So we can write 1 plus x cannot be equal to 0. From here x cannot be equal to negative 1. Okay. Now method number 1 is using algebraic manipulation. So I will write one identity which we know that is 1 plus x whole cube formula. So it is basically a cube a plus b whole cube we know the formula a plus b whole cube it is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab in bracket a plus b. So I will apply here I will write 1 plus x cube plus 3x in bracket 1 plus x. So from here I am targeting 1 plus x cube. So I will write this value. So 1 plus x cube that would be equal to 1 plus x whole cube minus 3x 1 plus x. What is the advantage of considering this method? I will give you the answer for this little after one or two minutes. You can see here I will put the value. Okay. Let me put the value over there. So I will write 1 plus x whole cube minus 3x 1 plus x. See this cubic equation won't come into the picture. 1 plus x whole cube and rest as it is x over 1 plus x whole square and equal to 3. Now I will split our numerator for first term only. So I can write 1 minus 3x 1 plus x divided by 1 plus x whole cube. Okay. Plus x over 1 plus x whole square equal to 3. Now this 1 plus x I will cancel and this one if I will take to the right hand side then equation will come out x over 1 plus x whole square minus 3x over 1 plus x whole square equal to 2. Now you can understand cubic term won't come. Equation will come in quadratics only. So I can write denominator is same. So I can write this equation will become negative 2x over 1 plus x whole square equal to 2 or negative x over 1 plus x whole square is equal to 1. Let me write here negative x over 1 plus x whole square equal to 1. Now cross multiply the written terms. So I can write 1 plus x whole square is equal to negative x. Let's expand now. a plus b whole square. So a square plus b square plus 2ab equal to minus x. Take all the term to LHS. I will write x square plus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. Quadratic equation and we are very very comfortable in this. I will apply Sridharachara formula minus b. So minus 3 plus minus square root b square. So 3 square is 9 minus 4ac. a is 1, c is 1. So 4 only divided by 2a so 2 only a is 1 so our answer will become minus 3 plus minus square root 5 over 2 only two solutions are there for the given rational equation 
Okay, now method number two. Here I will use the conventional, the general method. Nothing is special I will do here. So let me write method number two. Only one thing we can do. Let me show one plus x cube first term as it is unchanged. One plus x whole cube. And then I will write here x times one plus x. I am converting the second denominator same as the first one. Okay. Now I have multiplied with one plus x, so I need to write here q equal to three. In this term, I have multiplied numerator denominator with one plus x. Now you can see your LHS denominators are same. So only need to add the numerators. So I will write 1 plus x cube plus if I will expand x times 1 plus x. So I can write x plus x square divided by 1 plus x whole cube equal to 3. Now cross multiply. So I will write x cube in descending order x square plus x plus 1 equal to 3 times 1 plus x whole cube. Now I will expand. Left hand side it would be as it is x plus 1. Now I will write a plus b whole cube formula. So a cube plus b cube plus 3ab. So let me write 3x a plus b. So 3x plus 3x square. 3ab square plus 3ab. 3a square b. Done. Let's multiply with 3. So 3 plus 3x cube plus 9x square plus 9x. Left hand side is x cube plus x square plus x plus 1. Take all the term to right hand side. So I can write here 3x cube. Let me write directly 3x cube minus x cube. So 2x cube. Okay. 9x square minus x square. So 8x square. 9x minus x. So 8x. And 3 minus 1. So plus 2 equal to 0. You can see it is divisible by 2. So I will divide by 2 both sides. So x cube plus 4x square plus 4x plus 1 equal to 0. Now this is cubic polynomial. I will use the conventional synthetic division method. So for this purpose we should know the base solution or base root of this equation. Let me write here x cube plus 4x square plus 4x plus 1 equal to 0. So I can easily see once I will put x is equal to minus 1 without using rational root theorem we can conclude if I will put minus 1 I can see it is minus 1 plus 4 minus 4 plus 1. So yes it is 0 that means x is equal to minus 1 is our base solution but this won't be accepted as per our rational equation. Okay, That won't be accepted as a solution of this rational equation but it will help you out to find out the remaining two roots. Now I will use synthetic division method. Okay, Let us write all the coefficients. Cubic equation see x cube coefficient is 1 then 4, then 4, then 1. Put one line over there. Leading coefficient as it is 1. Now negative 1 times 1, negative 1, 3. Negative 1 times 3, negative 3, 1. 1 times negative 1, negative 1, 0. Here we are having coefficients for quadratic equation. So let me write and see this equation is same as the previous quadratic equation. Now I will use quadratic formula same minus 3 plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a and here we are having our answer square root 5 over 2 and see 
base solution cannot be accepted. So x equal to minus 1 won't be accepted solution. So I will write here rejected because it is exempted list. I started with the domain x cannot be equal to negative 1. So our final solution is minus 3 plus minus square root 5 over 2. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.